Hey, Algebra 1, let's try another problem where we put a bunch of rules together. This one is worksheet 2, example number 7, and uh, it's this, this mess of a problem right here. Now, at a quick glance, I'm noticing a couple of things. I'm noticing negative exponents, which are very bad, but I'm also noticing that we have a power on the outside. And I recommend taking care of the power on the outside before you do anything else, okay? And what that's going to mean is if you use rule 6, which states if you raise a quotient to a power, you just simply raise the numerator, you raise the numerator to that power, and you also raise the denominator to that power. Okay, so we're going to do everything raised to the power of 2. And in order to do that, we just have to basically raise everything to the power of 2. So 6 raised to the power of 2 is 6 times 6, which is 36. X raised to the x to the third raised to the power of 2 is multiplication of exponents. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 3 raised to the second power is going to be 9. x to the eighth raised to the second power is multiplication again, so 16th. And y to the negative 10 to the second is going to be multiplication again, negative 20. Okay? Now I'm almost done with this problem. I've got a couple of things. The first thing I need to look at is the numbers. I need to look at 36 divided by 9 and ask myself, could I simplify 36 divided by 9 at all? And I kind of like to do that off to the side. 36 divided by 9. Well, yes, I can because it just so happens they are both divisible by 9, right? How many times does 9 fit into 36? Four times exactly. And 9 fits into itself, of course, one time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the 36 into a 4 and the 9 into a 1 because of my work right over here simplifying the numbers. All right? The next thing I'm going to do is consider, well, you could do a couple of things. I think I'd like to first consider the y's because they're negative exponents. Negative exponents, of course, are very bad. And what you must do is make them go to the other side. So I'm going to leave the x's for now, x to the 6 and x to the 16. And I'm going to work with the y's instead. The y to the negative 4 needs to go to the bottom, but the y to the negative 20 needs to go to the top. So I'm kind of doing like an even exchange, okay? y to the negative 20 that was on the bottom moves to the top become positive, to become positive 20, and y to the negative 4 on the top moves to the bottom to become positive 4, okay? I'm almost done with the problem now. All I need to do now is look at my rules of exponents. I'm looking at rule number 3 which basically states, uh, same base division, I subtract the exponents, okay? So let's see if we can do that. Uh, oh, let's scooch that back down, okay. Oh, no, we don't like that. Sure, we'll try that again. Equals 4 over 1. All right, let's work with the x's first. I've got 6 x's on top and 16 on the bottom. So picture it like this, 6 on top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 16 on the bottom. I'm obviously not going to write out 16 of them, but 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 blah. So you ask yourself, how many could I remove without going over? Well, I can successfully remove all 6 from the top, and they would cancel with 6 on the bottom, right? So I wouldn't have any x's left over on top. So all my x's on top are gone. And I remove six of them from the bottom, which would leave 10 left over. 10 left over. OK? So now all my x's are taken care of. Y's are pretty easy. I got 20 on top and 4 on the bottom. So I basically just use my subtraction rule. I subtract 20 minus 4. And I have 16 y's left over. And they're on the top. But if you want to think about it the same way I thought about the x's, Think about it like this. I've got you know 20 y's on top. That's a lot of y's. And I've got four, just four, on the bottom. And you ask yourself, how many could you remove? Well, I can remove one, two, three, four. And then I have no more y's on the bottom. And I've got 16 left over because I had 20 and I took four of them away. So this right here would be the final answer to the problem. I apologize for the smart logo. I love smart, but you know it's it's in the way right now.